Go ahead, Bobby. Insanity. Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Those of us who were in other sessions and maybe didn't achieve our weight loss goals or those of us who are beginning again and maybe lost weight and gained it back, if we always do the same things and then we sit there and go, what? How did that happen? How did I gain weight? We have to change what we eat, how we plan, what we do. If we do the same things we did before and expect to lose weight, it's not going to happen. Let's talk about this a little bit more. I've included here what's called a mindful eating questionnaire. What we have to do in life is be mindful, be aware. What are we doing? What is this life? And we start with what we're eating. I'm going to have you do this at home. Let me just tell you that a perfect score, meaning you're a perfect mindful eater, what you're doing. Give me, let me give you some examples. I believe that I can only succeed by controlling or being rigid about my diet. I don't love and accept myself and my body as it is. I don't regularly feel a desire to exercise. There's things, almost always, frequently, infrequently, almost never. I took this quiz. Now, I have been doing Pray It Off for three years. I created Pray It Off. I am the poster child for Pray It Off, and I got a 1.6. A mindful eater gets a 4. And you know what that shows me? That I still have a long ways to go, and, and that's exciting because we can do it together. I still believe that I can only succeed by controlling or being rigid about my diet. I'm afraid of food. Food scares me. Buffets scare me. I don't have a liberated sense of, I eat to fuel my body. I don't have a problem with cashews. I don't have a problem with too many beers at parties. I still have problems. So what can we do together? Take this quiz, get your own score. If you're more than 50 pounds overweight and you get a four, I suggest you take the quiz again because perhaps you're not being honest with yourself. Because you have to be a mindful eater means that you're not eating when you're not hungry. This, I rush when I eat. Really take a good look at this. This whole quiz talks about in order to change, you have to know what it is you want to change. One of the people who started brand new last week found the log liberating, exciting. She was mindful of what she was eating. She did extremely well. Those of us who take it a little for granted, I'm going to be, I don't care how busy I am, I'm going to go over those logs with a fine tooth comb. Somebody called and gave me a reason for not being here tonight. I didn't think it was a good reason. I called them up and said so. We are going to be serious in seven. Serious in seven. Because we're 120 pounds in the hole. We're going to dig our way out of that hole. And there's 75 of us in five in Florida. I'm not counting them right now. If 75 of us lose 10 pounds, that's 750 pounds. Who here does not want to lose 10 pounds? Everyone does? <laughs> Wait, we're in a weight loss group and we want to lose weight? Interesting. How do we do that? The first step is to pay attention. Be mindful. This fellow here, Doug Hanvey, gave me permission to use his entire freedom from food fixation. So the next sheet is me putting in here, I distribute this report if I put it in its entirety, which I did, Doug. If you're watching, Doug, it's in its entirety. Everyone agree. Say, yes, Doug. It's in yes. its entirety. Yes, yes Doug. Doug. All right. Everybody knows we got it. It talks about chronic dieting. I was a chronic dieter. If I saw something, I'm like, oh, that sounds interesting. Everyone at work wants to be on a diet now. January 1, diet. They're, hey, did you know you could have grapefruit every day and lose weight? Hey, did you know you could have cabbage every day? It's all the fads. They're passing around things, the fads. We know that you can only eat less, move more, and be mindful. This whole report, we're not going to read it all tonight. That's what you take it home for. You go, you lay in bed, you put a pillow after you exercise, and then you read the report. 
no diet, or weight management program can succeed in the long run unless it tackles the deeper underlying causes for food fixation. There are reasons. Are we stressed? Are we depressed? Is it the way we grew up? Does your mother grab a bowl of ice cream when there's a problem? Do, do you have a, 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 your whole family only has pizza and wings. You don't even know what a vegetable is. There's a million underlying reasons, and we try to examine them here at Pray It Off. We try to say, why? And then we turn it around. Doug didn't mention the big guy, but we do. We're mindful of our lives because we want God to help us with our stress and our problems and our issues. Because if there's something I learned in 56 years, there's a different problem every day. I call it the problem du jour. Because the problem we're fighting today, oh yeah, well, okay, that's under control. What? There's another problem tomorrow? If we eat chips every time we have a problem, we'll weigh 371 pounds. But if we say, Lord Jesus, I trust in you, I give you this, I'm mindful, I want to eat. The other day, we made a frittata with egg beaters and bro fresh broccoli, fresh cauliflower, fresh mushrooms. This is after I read Doug's article. I sat there, and that cauliflower, that broccoli, I was going, oh, this is so good. I felt happy about eating. I wasn't scared of my egg beaters and frittata. I didn't think, am I going to eat too much egg beaters and frittata? I enjoyed it as a gift from God, and I want to be mindful of what I eat and not be afraid. I don't want to use the word diet, which I think we've talked about a lot in this group. Diet, in the ancient Greek word, is dieta. It means way of life. Unfortunately, everyone's into a quick fix, focused on the quick fix. If we emphasize way of life, then we can be successful. Because I'll tell you something, you can join Pray It Off for six months, you can fill out your log, maybe lose 10 pounds, but unless you learn that that's a lifetime, we have to do this forever. And you might say, that's not fair. I don't want to be on a new way of life forever. We saw what happened at Christmas. If we don't put the brakes on, there's 120, two more weeks, another 120, Pretty soon we'll be calling the group Pray It On. And then we won't even have to change the logo. It'll still be P-I-O. We are not going to do that. We try to address the issues because dieting is an ineffective way of achieving permanent weight loss. Diets are doomed to fail. I was on a million of them. The longest I've ever kept any weight off is through Pray It Off. The longest. And why? Because we come here every week. We're mindful. Even those of you who haven't set the word world on fire, you haven't gained weight. And those of you who've left and maybe came back, you realize, you know what? I think pray it off's the way to go because when I'm not mindful, I get in trouble. And here's how mindfulness works. What you try to do is be at peace with your life. Now that's easier said than done, I know, because of the problems du jour. It's nice to say be at peace when you're losing your job or your mother's sick or your this one's sick or that one's having a very bad time. But St. Paul said in prison, I have learned to be at peace no matter where I am. If we don't try to find that peace or that mindfulness, we are doomed to die of failure if we turn to food to fix the problems. Can anyone tell me, has food, I mean, temp, besides the temporary little rush, has food ever really helped our problems? I can start by saying it never did. It never helped my problems. Did, can anyone say it, besides the temporary? I'll give you the little temporary, because when you're sitting there going like this, maybe you're not thinking about your problems. <laughs> And maybe there's that little sugar rush or the endorphin rush. But then come Monday morning or come Thursday when you get on the scale, no one says, hip, hip, hooray, I gained seven pounds this week. Woo! No. It doesn't make it better. There's four levels here. There's your body. There's your eating patterns, your, your, your behavior. And then there's the thoughts and emotion. 
Your body needs a certain amount of food. All right, and I'm going to stop right there because Bob's giving me the hindsight. And guess